Inside Science TV. CLAMPS is a facility that we built at the Severe Storms Laboratory in collaboration with the University of Oklahoma. It actually stands for the Collaborative Lower Atmospheric Mobile Profiling System. It's a, it's a trailer-based system. It's a 16-foot trailer that you would pull behind a three-quarter ton pickup truck. And on it, it has three very state-of-the-art instruments that we're using to get profiles of temperature, humidity, and wind in the lowest one to two kilometers of the atmosphere. Ultimately, to improve a weather forecast, we're going to need multiple clamps, maybe 10, or 15 of them that are scattered around the multi-state area, so you're giving a lot of information to the, the model. We just completed an experiment this last summer called PECAN, which stood for Plains Elevated Convection at Night. Every day, we move clamps to a different location, so hopefully we'd be able to observe that storm. We're trying to assimilate radar data and other observations as rapidly as possible to try to forecast you know, what's going to happen in the next 30 minutes to maybe in the next hour. Our focus is on severe weather. But these type of observations are actually useful for all types of weather. Hailstorms, very strong wind storms, chemical weather, tornadoes. Today, for example, we will not issue a tornado warning unless a spotter has observed a tornado on the ground or there is direct evidence in some sort of radar scan. If you have to observe the tornado with your eye or with the radar before you warn it, then somebody is not actually being given enough time. What we'd like to be able to do is improve our forecast models to the point of view that we can actually issue a warning based on a forecast. That would lengthen our ability to give warnings maybe by another 10, 20 minutes. That could be extremely beneficial in saving lives. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.